Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. I just realized I hadn't posted my end of June layout chair and my how to kill a kit of style and how much I had left. So yes, it's July 2nd. I'm a day behind. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that now. So I got actually a little bit more of the kit killed. If you remembered, I kind of combined what I had left over in May into June. So it was a combination of Citrus Twist and um, Best of Both Worlds kits from May. Yeah, I grabbed this and just shoved it in there thinking maybe I would use it, but I didn't. So ironically, I never used the stamp set, but it's super cute. I kind of want to play with it. So I'm going to leave it out, hoping I can play with it in the near future. Um, I used up a decent amount of these enamel dots, not as many as I thought I would. I used up some of these stickers. Some of the pages have way less than I um, imagined. I didn't use the alphas at all. This is the Paige Evans Wonders sticker book. Um, I used some of these, but I used way more. This, this is the Keeping It Real um, collection. I used way more of the other collection, which was Mm, some days I think yeah I used way more of those so I have so there's just so many embellishments there were so many embellishments in this kit I used one whole roll of enamel dots and almost all of the yellow I used a decent amount of the chipboard but not um of the Vicky Booten so this will just go back probably into color study is my guess I used like three nope one two three four five puppy stickers of the keeping it real I used some of the ephemera. I used like all the flowers. I did a two page spread and I used a bunch of them. So I used um a chunk of them, but not a ton. I barely used these alphas. I used these a little more, but still didn't use them a lot. I used a ton of the flare. There's not too many left. So that's all for the embellishments. And papers, I only have one 12 by 12 left, which with how many papers I had, I think that's pretty good. I have all these scraps. I will keep these out and just kind of try to chip away at this. I have a few more layouts I probably can do. There's all these strips of papers as well um, from the branding strips. So that's a piece of white cardstock. Yeah, there's a lot of little scraps. I might even go through and toss some of them. We'll see. We'll see if I can do anything with it. Um, there's a big chunk of that left. But yeah, this is the only 12 by 12 I have left. Oh yeah, and this one pocket card I really liked. This is the only 12 by 12. And I really don't know what side I would use. But, yes. So, I'm going to leave this together and I'm going to try to chip away at it. And then this, these embellishments, there's like so many. So, I might even, um, this won't be my kit for June. I'm going to take a break from it. But if I use this, but I might be able to incorporate these things in like my, uh, or July, I mean, I might be able to incorporate these into my August kit or something because I think I'm going to create a kit out of some stash things uh, in August. But July, I'm going to semi-cheat, but it's not really cheating because I'm still doing a kill kit, but I'm combining it with my own series of Product Focus Friday. So I'm going to use the same thing. So before I show you what I'm using for Product Focus Friday slash how to kill a kit with style for July, I'm going to show you all my layouts that I made. I made 23 layouts total. Um, not all of those were how to kill a kit. Um, the first group of these are how to kill a kit and I need to put layouts together or away so bad. I have four big piles now or will after this one. All right, so. These are what I did with my Killa kit. Um, so we did this one. We did one. This was her Confessions of a Paper Addict using this amazing stitch and cut file. To... This is also Confessions of a Paper Addict with this amazing cut file. And I'm stuck on something. There we go. Three. This I did for, there's a video for this one. This is also, uh, this was for Tuesdays in the Attic. Yeah. 
This was a two-pager I did for um, Tuesdays in the Attic. I really like the way this page turned out. It turned out really good. Five, six. This was for Danny V's celebration. I got a lot of random stuff on here. And I had to pull some other stuff into my, from my stash as well. This was for a very recent Tuesdays in the Attic. I believe just this last Tuesday. And then this was just for Kristen um, Carlson's 1K subby giveaway as well. Scrap lifted her. So I did, well, how many? One, two, three, four, five. So nine pages from my How to Kill a Kid. Not bad. And I probably could have gotten 10, 11 out of it, honestly. Um, but not bad. I got nine pages done out of just the Kill a Kid. So that's pretty good. Um, but I had to, you know, I can't, I can't focus <laughs> lately. And so it's like, I need, I need other things. I can't, I don't want to get bored. That's why I also like, I'm glad I've had kits that are mixed because then I can't really get bored. Um, because they're not just like one collection. So I got nine How to Kill a Kit, and then the rest are all, I'm going to show these to you too, the rest are all other layouts that are not Kill a Kit. So this was a product focus, or not product focus, Dusty Attic sketches, and I used some of the Dusty Attic um, chipboard that they have, and I love the way this turned out, and this old sticker I've had in my stash forever. And I need to work on getting more of his school pictures done. Um, this was, this is just a 30 days of sketches. I still have one 30 days of sketches left and I have about a handful of how to, um, may I scrap lift you. So that's also a goal. I need to get those done for July. Um, cause I want to do them. This was also. 30 days of sketches. I don't think I have videos for that. This was a product focus Friday. I did a Coco Vanilla this month. This was a product focus Friday and I was inspired by the mood board on Confessions of a Paper Addict. This was a product focus Friday as well. And uh, may I scrap lift you? This was a Tuesdays in the Attic. Oh, this was Rebecca um, Lockhart's scrap lift for her subby giveaway. And I really love the way this turned out. This turned out so good. It's one of my favorites, I think. I love it. So much dimension and so much like texture. This was for, I gotta get started on that too. This was for the IQ craft or craft IQ challenge. I want to say IQ craft. Craft IQ challenge for June. It just started for July. Make sure you go check it out. I will have it linked down below. It's my brainchild. I love it. So this was for that. This was my um, just most recent one for the Scrap the Boys challenge. Uh, Scrap the Boys and um, Confessions of a Paper Addict were teaming up in July. So this was just posted. Um, so this was for that. My process video was just posted. This was for my Christmas in June. There's Christmas July going on all month. I'm not playing along, but there are tons of people who are. So make sure you go check that out. I will link Moira down below because she will have everybody else. And then the off the board. Um, oh, I have, I did more cause I did other layouts. I did way more. Yeah, I did. Um, I did some layouts in my two favorites because that's where my off the board page went. That is also going on all July. So make sure you check that out. I will link Crystal down below because she will have everybody um, correctly who is playing what days on her thing. And this was also Confessions of a Paper, or not Confessions of a Paper, Product Focus Friday, Coco Vanilla Studio. And this was also May I Scrap With You. So I got some of those done in June, but not as many as I would have liked. I wanted to get all of them done. Um, so now let me show you what I'm going to play with in July. 
And I decided to do this one to keep my focus on something and to actually have kind of, I, I put too much on my plate in June. Honestly, I put too much pressure on myself. I haven't got to play with the new classes I've signed up for either, which is kind of sad, <laughs> but they're there always. So I'm not too worried about that. But July, um, I decided what I'm going to do is for my product focus Friday, I chose out of my basket generic American crafts and then the rediscover your stash focus um, for using up in July now that the spending freeze is also gone. Also, Dottie about Flair having their one year birthday celebration basically. Tons of like challenges every day. There are tons of people, um, other companies and giving prizes like like mad. There's so much stuff going on. Adam and Natalie have prepared like an amazing month. So make sure you go check them out. There's so much stuff going on in July. July is such a celebration month. There's just so much. Did you know it's also National Hot Dog Month? And it's also National Ice Cream Month. I will be celebrating National Ice Cream Month. So far, we have um, definitely uh, done ice cream every day. And it's only the second, so we're doing good so far. I plan on eating ice cream every day. That is, my, that is my goal. I probably will gain 20 pounds, but who cares? National Ice Cream Month, very, very important to me. Anyway, back to what I'm talking about. So June was chaotic for me. July, I'm trying to really focus more and get certain things done and have goals that are attainable and not put so much on my plate. So my How to Kill a Kit and my Product Focus Friday are going to be the same. And I also kind of like that because the Rediscover Your Stash channel or like focus this month also is to use collections or um, designers that are not around anymore. You can't get them anymore. So I have some old generic American crafts um, lines. There are no specific designers or anything that are from back in the day that you can't get anymore. So that's what my product focus Friday is going to, our product focus Friday and how to kill a kit is going to be. So I have, um, and they're all scrap room crypts. I think I have five of them. So I have this one, which is, um, campy trails and this is Buffalo Lake and it's from 2010. So it's pretty old. So these are all scrap room. So you get, Oh, this is when the branding strips were perforated. <gasps> I miss that. I liked that where you just snap them off. So yeah, Campy Trails. That this one's called Buffalo Lake. So all the papers are named after like a campground or like a yeah. So this okay, yeah, Campy Trails, Buffalo Lake. This is Evergreen Point. I really like this. The back is like a lime green, and I like that the branding strip is the wood grain. Um, Appleton Cove. And it's a blue wood grain. And then I got two pieces of brown cardstock with it. And then I got, and I keep them all in their sleeves. So I'm hoping I can like smash these and like use them up. It's 12 by 12, it's like canoe chipboard. And I think I have, do I have any family vacations to mm, scrapbook? Possibly. And then this wish you were here. Um, journaling block but this would be really good to do kind of a grid style and then this awesome this way patch which I haven't used patches I, don't know, I think one time so that'll be interesting we have that one and I'm just gonna for the sake of time I'm not gonna put them back in the sleeve for you I'll just lay them down over here okay and then I have so that one's kind of folly colored some kind of summary this one's definitely fall um this is Nightfall Autumn uh, American Crafts. This is 2011. So it came with some cute, um, I got some flare. This one's a little turkey and this one's some apples. Came with some ribbon. Uh, these are stickers. I wonder if this was a 12 by 12 sheet. I don't know. But they're like, yeah. There's like little punctures there where they were stapled it looks like. Um, so some leaves, hayride, giving thanks, okay. Some good stuff. And then some American Crafts Remarks, the dimensional stickers. So a couple of those. I think these were about this big. I probably got like a half pack of that. So they're all the chipboard dimensional. I have taken them apart in the past. We'll see. 
but the papers are so nightfall. This is autumn harvest, so lots of very fall colored things. So far, both those collections, but but I love this color. Some something about this blue, I really like it. So it's semi Halloween, semi not. So yeah, this one's called October Night. So that's all ghosts, but I really like. I really like the blue that comes in it. And then this one has an apple strip. And these all have, do these have the perforated bottom too? Yeah. And then it's a stripe and this one's called Autumn Gathering. And then it came with two piece, or a piece of blue cardstock and two brown. So this must have been actually probably not a um, flavor of the month, but it's probably a, they sometimes will do like additional kits, um, single shots. I think that's what that was because usually they come with a little bit more cardstock, so... All right, and then I have, so this is kind of a good look too of what I'm, more in detail what I'm doing in Product Focus Friday as well. I'll just move those off. This one is Garden Cafe from 2011. I don't know if anybody know, remembers this one. Um, so this is Sunflower Deli. So also kind of fallish, but kind of summerish with the lime greens and the reds. And then it's yellow on the back. This textured see that it's yeah they're like raised uh this is clover catina cantina oh, little slices of pie that's a really pretty floral tone on tone this awesome stripe also with like this was a thing i remember a lot for a while there uh cafe iris and that's very old school fleur de lis and it came with two like fuchsia cardstock pieces so I'm not, I have no idea what I'm going to scrapbook with those yet. Um, and that kit came with like this uh, felt and chipboard, like dimensional embellishment. A couple of these pinwheel things. And this one butterfly. Yeah. Embellished butterfly. It's like... Yeah. Alright, and last but not least, is that four? Yeah, that's four is a Valentine's one. So we'll see. Um, so it came with a bunch of chipboard embellished hearts that have all fallen off the plastic. Clearly works. The Yeah, they're, I think they're all chipboard. Yeah, it's all chipboard. And then little embellishments. So came with those. And this one was um, XOXO from 2012. And so this one's called True Love, and this is where they stopped doing the perforated. Um, this one's called True Love, so it's a stripe, and then this crazy fun. Ooh, I like that. It's almost mixed media in the background. That's really pretty. Oh, and do you know what? This might be a good place to start for the Craft IQ Challenge. Um, here's an arrow paper, and this one's called All My Heart. Honestly, uh, I this is. And this one's called Kiss. And that's pretty. Yeah. And then I think it just came with two sheets of white cardstock. Yeah. All right. So that is what, that's my How to Kill a Kit for July. Also, my Product Focus Friday for July. Um, there will be a Product Focus Friday video up later today. I, like I said, this week. This month has been crazy, but this week has been especially crazy. And yeah, that is what I got for you. So thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you check out everybody else who's playing along with How to Kill a Kit with style this month. And we will see you next time. Bye.